hello everyone my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video so in the last video we have created the machine learning model the machine learning clustering model and we have actually kind of visualized that data to kind of figure out whether our you know clustering as is working as intended or not so we were actually you know uh, successful up to a certain level it was not you know 100 percent perfect but uh, we are able to do it up to a certain extent so now it is time to you know uh, test or deploy our model to see whether you know how does it you know perform uh, when we actually you know uh, put it against the real world data so for testing purpose uh, I have actually you know collected some test data uh, this is in that in this excel slide that you can see uh, and we have I have again actually you know extracted the same features from this data uh, set uh, so this is having all you know good and bad data uh, good and bad uh, HTTP request and we I have also extracted those features so now, so now what I'm going to do I'm going to feed this test data to our model uh, and we'll see if it is able to successfully you know distinguish the good request and the bad request so yeah let's keep our fingers crossed and let's give it a shot so uh, in PyCaret actually uh, there is a module called deploy model uh, this is actually you know uh, de model deployment and this is called as predict model so predict model will actually you know help us uh, test this model so as you can see uh, this is how you do it actually predict model XG boost so let's copy it uh, let's let's read the data first and after that we'll do that uh, let's read the test.csv file first uh, okay we have it here somewhere mm. so we'll just you know put it here uh, test HTTP sorry HTTP and this is known as test.csv and let's HTTP dot head uh, so as you can see we are able to successfully read this test data and let's try to you know deploy the model uh, this is how you do it uh, predict model XC boost and what you have to do here uh, we'll have to use k-means uh, the model object here is k-means uh, so test result we can call it Yeah, we need to we need to actually pass that data data equals to uh, this HTTP data that I have missed so as we can see we have this test data and it is actually you know uh, it has successfully uh, you know added a new uh, column called cluster and <clears throat> sorry it has successfully created a um, you know this is how what it is predicted uh, not predicted this is where it, it has actually you know put this this particular line it has put it in uh, cluster 0 0 just like that but we are able to see only you know few entries so let's try to dump it in the desk to CSV let's copy it paste it here test result.csv result.csv okay sorry so now we should have a file test result.csv see what is uh, there so now let's first have a look at the cluster one which is actually you know it has predicted as bad so as you can see this is from this uh, request we can already see that this is obviously a bad one as you can see it has tried to execute some SQL queries and um, as you can see uh, we can actually say you know it is able to successfully you know detect the uh, detect the bad ones and now we'll have to see the cluster zero if we have any false positives uh, false negatives uh, and yeah this is the cluster zero which is you know calling it as clean 
but obviously we can see it has missed some of these things uh, and as you can see and uh, this is all in cluster 0 however this this actually you know should have you know uh, this should have caught this request as you can see it's obviously some bad payloads that are being sent okay so yeah this is also uh, i'm not really sure whether it's false but it seems to be an xml file but yeah obviously there are a few misses and that you know that should have caught by this particular uh, machine learning model clustering model uh, so there are few uh, things that we can obviously do we can actually you know we have uh, extracted those feature uh, very roughly from the data we can actually improve our you know feature extraction module uh, to you know improve the efficacy of our machine learning based ips that we have just built uh, but uh, that is one option and another one is you know fine tuning that tuning that model so i'll actually cover all these things in the next videos uh, so I just wanted to make this video to quickly, you know, show you how can you, how easy it is to kind of, you know, test or deploy your model using PyCaret. So as you can see, it is very easy. Just, you know, we have written just few lines of you know, Python code, uh, maybe not even 10 lines of Python code to, you know, um, allow to train that model and deploy that model. And we can, we are also able to, you know, the see the visualization of this model that we have just created. So it is that easy. Um, anyway, so that's all I wanted to discuss in this video. Uh, in the next few videos, I'll show you, you know, some of the, you know, more, more granular level stuff of this particular project itself. For example, how can we fine tune this model and how to improve the feature extraction. I'll continue to work on that. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.